Hello, my name's Colin Hendry. I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Leeds in the Institute of Psychological Sciences. My expertise is an ethologist. I'm interested in animal behaviour and also human behaviour. And because of that, what I try and do is to explain everything in terms of evolution. This podcast is, a, is about human evolution and it's talking about how our evolutionary past shapes our behaviour today. In this first slide you can see a picture of Darwin and you can see a picture of his most famous book which is of course The Origin of Species and it's unfortunate with Darwin uh, because people look at him and whereas he's anti-religion in many people's eyes in the modern day he actually looks a bit like a god or some sort of prophet or something like that so um, what we need to do is to actually consider him in his own context and um, firstly to say that evolution isn't a religion it's not uh, in competition with any uh, any religion whatsoever it's a thought process it's not even a theory about the origin of life what it starts off with is saying life exists and what we're going to talk about is then the process by which the evolution works on that, uh, works on that life so the process works on a species as they strive and to struggle to survive and reproduce. And because of that struggle, they change because the environment changes and this happens over time and it's in response to a changing environment. So where the environment never changes, the chances are the animal would never, would never alter itself. Where the environment itself is rapidly changing, then that species is also going to rapidly change. And obviously, in the context of what we're talking about today, it's going to be about humans that I'm talking about because we are a species that rapidly changed. How did Darwin come to think about these things? How did he come to think of these things in the middle of the 1800s when his wife was extremely religious, when he was related to the, uh, the, the high-up clergy in, in the church? Well, it was because he was actually a poor student. He was a very bad student and he got moved from university to university. And one of the universities he ended up in was in Edinburgh. And on the way up to Edinburgh, just south of Edinburgh, is a, a rock formation called Hutton's Unconformity. And the interesting part about this is it's well known and everybody can see it, but what it does is just sit in there on the English side of the, of the, uh, of the Scottish border. It shows you that the calculation of Archbishop Usher that the world was created at 9 a.m. on October the 23rd, 4004 BC, probably wasn't correct because as you can see from the slide, you can see that there are upswellings, there are downswellings, that the rock's been moved around. And on top of that, what you have then is the weathering and you can see the water in the slides just there. So this is showing you actions over geological time that certainly couldn't have happened in five or 6,000 years BC or whatever.